Hey Joe fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing and this time it is of the G.I. Joe Classified Series Red Ninja. He's uh, number 8 in the series, uh, part of the Wave 2 of figures with uh, Cobra Commander and Gung Ho. Um, this is a uh, pretty, pretty awesome looking version of the Ninja. Um, you can, uh, he's probably going to get a lot of duty... Uh, coming up for, for collectors, if not only for um, just being a, a cool ninja to use with Joe, but you know, um, I'm sure people will be using them as hand ninjas for their Marvel collections, for Daredevil and whatnot. And anywhere else, you just need, you always need some ninjas, especially generic ones, so that's pretty cool. Um, looks like he comes with a huge loadout of weapons, um, a lot of reuses from uh, the Storm Shadow and then the version one our version zero of Snake Eyes. Um, so that's cool. Um, anyways, excited about this one. Um, he, uh, what do we got on here? He's got a pretty sweet piece of art um, on the front right here. And um, pretty interesting. He's got the, uh, on, on the headband, or he's got the, what is it? As Askagi, Askaragi, I forget. I don't know how to say it. The, um, the ninja clan that Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes are. And oh yeah, you can see it better on this side here. On the, uh, on the front of his face. Um, I like that he's got like these dead eyes. So I don't know if, uh, if he's a zombie or if it's just from the, the brainwashing going on as part of Cobra. Um, and the back, it's got the same image that all the other uh, releases, all the standard releases have had so far. Um, but yeah, yeah, if you don't know, um, <laughs> yeah, with Cobra, a lot of their tactics, uh, include brainwashing their, uh, their troopers and whatnot. So if you're a Crimson Guard, one of the Freds, or, um, Ninjas, or Storm Shadow, especially Snake Eyes, they've been through, uh, in the comics, Dr. Venom's, uh, what do you call it, um, brain brain uh washing device so many times they're just scrambled so it's kind of neat um interesting enough it looks like on the toy release he doesn't have the um the same image as the as the painting with the uh the ninja clan symbol on the forehead which i you know um i kind of like that uh that it's the cobra symbol and not the um the clan symbol because if that's what they're churning out man uh that clan is supposed to be hardcore and if these are just throwaway ninjas that are going to get shot down by random joes um it's not a good look you know not a good look for recruiting um regardless uh wonder why they why they chose uh that or if there should have been another head bandana included who knows um not that important i don't think just uh just a little thing i noticed uh regardless this dude has got some pretty tight legs trying to bend them and they are giving me some resistance right off the bat. Um, let's look at his design a little bit. He's got some some molded shuriken, some belt uh, molded across his chest here. Um, he's got some armor, some shoulder pads. Let's see, is the helmet come off? Or not helmet, it's actually just like a cloth. Uh, well, it's not cloth, it's plastic, but it looks like it's molded plastic onto his face. Um, it's got those zombie dead eyes. Let's see. Pretty good. Um, some, some uh, like, snake skin armor looking moldy down his shoulders. Um, he's pretty busy, man. He's got a lot of pouches and... Um, armor pieces. Uh, so what does he got here? It's like uh, his his armor down here is kind of like um, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a chainmail or if it's just supposed to be snakeskin, but it's, not, it's interesting. It's cool. Um, it's got some what do you call it? Uh, it's got some pockets on his butt. So he's he's fully uh, fully loaded for. Um, for, for war, this guy looks like a minus sign on, <laughs> on the side here. A uh, couple of couple of holes to holster things there. Um, nothing on his back, but 
we'll see. Um, we'll see what that means for the accessories. Regardless, it's pretty cool looking. Um, now, what does he come with? If I can get some of this tape off. I use just enough tape to to annoy me. So that's uh, good on them, I guess. Comes with a pair of commas. That's pretty cool. These are all black. They're a little bit better than the... Uh, it's probably the same ones as the uh, Snake Eyes, but since they're not all white, I, I like them a little bit more. Um, it's got a couple of battle axes. That's pretty cool for throwing or... Um, or climbing, who knows, cutting things down, but a couple of axes, a couple of commas. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got like a three-pronged uh, sheath holster for his back. See if that uh, plugs in easily. Apparently it does. Easy enough. So that's cool. I'm pretty sure I probably can just cock it to the side or go straight up one or the other. Uh, we'll see what's it look like on the back. On the back, it looks like, um, I mean, on the front picture, it looks like it's just kind of going straight upwards. So, um, not too bad. Um, what else has he got in here? It's got your, your standard issue katana. So, it looks really kind of cool. Kind of cool looking uh, um, design. And... Uh, I don't remember what you get. It's like a na Naganaki or something like that. I don't know. Um, sorry for butchering the names if we've got some weapon experts watching. But regardless, this is a cool long blade. Um, and a couple of sides that are actually pretty pretty cool. Um, I like that. I like the... Uh, they're kind of wider than normal ones you would get with uh, like Ninja Turtles, Raphael or Electra. These are just cool, plain black. I like the I like the plain black on all of those. So um these are I think they were a little controversial just to this figure in general just because I think he was uh um short packed. It's just like one per per case. Um so good luck getting them if you haven't got them. Um I ordered mine offline and I got uh I got two of them, so I think that's all of the uh, the ninjas I'll need for now. What's he got? Uh, he's always got sheets everywhere. I didn't even notice. He's got one on his waist. Uh, let's see. Probably put his... Spend him forward a little bit. His size on his back here. It's pretty cool. Looks like he probably will be able to uh, equip everything if he puts a couple of commas on the back. And he probably can either yeah, just put these in his hand and have these axes. I'm sure you can probably jam this stuff any way you want. But um, this is the way I'm going for now. And he uh, he looks like he's gonna do some damage. Um, kind of kind of uh, reminds the the Red Ninjas have have pretty much always been a thing with Cobra in the comics for sure. Uh, later on, they had like that Ninja Force looking things when everything was ninjas in the uh, in the '90s. But um, early on, there was still there was still some Red Ninja action to be had, so that's um, pretty uh, pretty good. But you know, you know, with ninjas, the more you have, the less effective they are. So uh, you get a hundred of these guys, and Snake Eyes will cut them down. But you got one master or something, and got a got a real fight on your hands. But that's pretty cool. Let me see if uh, if he's identical to the Storm Shadow. Um, eh, I don't know. Looks like they changed up enough. Like definitely the uh, um, the armor on the uh, around his waist is different. Um, the molded arms are different. Definitely the Storm Shadow has different molding on his arms, like uh, designs and whatnot. 
Um, they, they did a different shoulder pad, so he's he got different head sculptors. Uh, if he's sharing anything, it's not that noticeable. Let me look at the uh, snake eyes. Um, yeah, maybe the, the arms on snake eyes are, are similar. Um, he shares a little bit more in common with snake eyes than he does with, uh, with the, um, storm shadow, which surprises me. Um, cause I would think he'd be uh, storm shadows goons, but, uh, whatever, um, looks good. And the repaint really, uh, makes him pop differently. Uh, regardless, if you can, if you can get some of these guys, um, grab them. I grabbed two, so that's enough for me. I don't know how many ninjas I need. I'd rather have more, uh, Cobra Troopers, but, you know, wish me luck if I can get some of those. Um, regardless, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you're picking these up and what you'll be doing with them. I will be, uh, hopefully, after I've set up my space, and be able to create a diorama or something. Maybe I really want to create, like, a Cobra Island or something to play with. Um, but, you know, pipe dreams. we got to get some time to actually uh, do that stuff, but... This dude is uh, got the same articulation as the rest of Joe, so he's pretty fun. Um, just good luck finding him. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you uh, aren't too frustrated with the line and just not giving up. And I don't blame you if you are, because those uh, those Target toys are, are still driving everybody crazy. Um, I've only got the Cobra line, the Cobra Island line. I only got the roadblock so far, so um, hopefully I can uh, figure that out. But anyways, see you next time. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.